In one hour alone, 40 projectiles crossed the Lebanese border into northern Israel on Wednesday, according to Israel's Defence Force. Here, footage shows one being shot down by Israel's air defence system. While there were no reports of casualties, the barrage is a sign from Hezbollah that though it may be weakened, it is not giving up. Over the border in southern Lebanon, the militant group claimed to have inflicted losses and forced Israeli troops to retreat in the village of al Edessa, then again in the village of Maroun al-Ras. According to Hezbollah's media officer, this is only the first round and the group has enough fighters, weapons and ammunition to push back Israel. Shortly afterwards, the Lebanese army posted this on social media. An Israeli enemy force breached the Blue Line, approximately 400 metres into Lebanese territory in the areas of Kherbet Yarun and Bab al adesa then withdrew after a short period. Meanwhile, the IDF released this footage, it says, shows troops on the ground in southern Lebanon, where it claimed to have destroyed, quote, over 150 terror infrastructures. Since Monday, the IDF has ordered 27 villages to evacuate as part of its, quote, limited operation into the country. It is the first time Israeli troops have invaded Lebanon since the 2006 war. Unlike Gaza, which is mostly flat coastal plains, southern Lebanon is made up of hills and mountainous terrain, making it difficult for tanks to move uninhibited.